Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't a lake in a Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! Are you gonna be a good little forester? Learn your lesson? And stay down! You can be Lord, Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Super Sims Gaming. I'm Frozen Blaze, and today we are going to be starting episode 4 of the Telltale Games Game of Thrones saga series. Something? Um, so, I can't believe it's like here. I'm so excited that I played the third episode so much later than I should have. Because I'm so excited that the fourth episode is here now. Because I was like, oh my god, now I gotta wait forever, but... Nope, I don't. And how do I not have batteries? That's annoying. Well, let's see how long they go. They said they're low. They didn't say they're completely gone. So, <coughs> let's get this done. So this episode's going to be um, a little bit shorter than the rest of the episodes that I'm going to be doing for this series of Episode 4 of Game of Thrones. Um, because of the fact that I'm kind of rushed for time today... I have somewhere to be. So I just really wanted to get this out for you guys because what? Who's dead? Who is that? Oh, the guy that we killed by accident. Um, so I just wanted to get this out for you guys because I know like I know I couldn't wait to play it and I really thought like it just came out last night so I thought I'd get it done at least a little bit today for all you guys. Whoa. I think we're in trouble. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Oh, but she he didn't know he was. Found out too. Now they all see it. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and and we fought. And... So you struck him down and left him to die. 
You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, Whatever. you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm so pissed you off right now. You don't even have the courage to admit what you did. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Let's hope he's being nice and he doesn't. Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Well, Let's what would go. have happened if he killed me? Hmm? I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rosfinger! What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Frostfinger just hates me. That's then the kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crusters. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crasters. How is this? Any different. Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. If I'm gonna die anyway, might as well try to run at least. You know? You know, I saw a meme the other day. It was like, first time watching Game of Thrones. Oh my god, this... This intro is so long. And then second time, and third, and fourth, forever after that, watching Game of Thrones. And it's so true, because I remember the first time I was like, wow, this is a really long intro. But it's pretty awesome. That's what I thought. And then I'm like, and then the next time I watched it, I'm like, up, oh, it's on again. Let's go get something to drink. Let's go get something to eat. Go wash the car. All that stuff. And then from now on, I'm just like, Dang. sorry, I was talking throughout that whole thing, guys. Episode four: Sons of Winter. There's so many, like. Well, of course, when I'm pressed for time, there's so many loading sequences. That's all. Where are we? Marine. I think... Yeah, I think we're in Marine. We are. Because that's the Unsullied. So... Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? My baby. Desperate men, hoping for I mean, wealth, Daenerys. protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. 
You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. My word wasn't easily bought. Shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> I love her. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asher. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Dana Can you shut up, lady? Your tongue is dangerous. Don't talk to... Don't talk to Daenerys like that. Why did you come here? You've been polite, accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains oh while gosh. their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will just help me like, free the go and hug her. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. Dang, son. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just cell sorts. We're the best damn cell sorts in Slaver's Pay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. Is boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Pesca here, she has a history in Marine. She can help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? Yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. <laughs> Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. You know what? I really hate... Is that what That's you're stupid saying? jerk. You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Anything for you. 
Within reason, of course. Very well. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Maureen, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If wow. I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. For sure it is, man. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? <clears throat> What's the problem with you and Marine? I have a feeling that regardless of what I chose, she's gonna get in trouble with something with Marine. So I decided, you know what, let me just try to please Daenerys. in a corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Like my, my batteries are just going like crazy. Neil, we got two more. She seems really angry, and I really wonder what's going on with her, because. If you think about it, it's got to be something big. And the way they looked after um, she was like from the west or east, whatever side she said, they were like. All right, we're back to Roderick. Curse this bloody leg! Hey, it's not your leg, but it's a problem, Rod. At least he's learning You've to, got to fight be again. Practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Royland. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around Yo, my no walls any longer. So what do you guys think? Should I... Lord, what but kind of... Win a fair fight. You path can't should I take a sword now? Like you should I be like I was so before, where I was like trying to be a good person? Your opponent. Just, you do know, something unexpected. trying to lay words. low? Or should I I'll show be evil-ish and ruthless, I guess you could say? Let me know in the comments below what you me. think I should do in the next following episodes uh, after this. Following parts, not episodes. Okay. Oh. Bring your opponent okay. down to your level. Ooh. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. That was a good move, actually. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> Think you let me? Oh. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Who's the cutie behind her? Lady Elena. I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver? Oh. Good gods, you've He's grown. He's cute. You could just call me Arthur now. Maybe him and Thalia. So I hope you don't mind Thalia. us coming Thalia. on Thalia, get together. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn Yo, to. His hair though? Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit Nick. at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lord threatened my family told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted a damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. Wow. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick. Griff sits in my great hall and acts like the king of bloody Westeros. You can't marry him. 
Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? Of course but not. my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. Oh, God. We have to get rid of him. Let's do it. I can't think Anything of any for other love. way. My father won't see reason. It's time someone brought Griff down. I'm gonna we be. We were hoping he'd say that. Nice, nice. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. Nice. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. <laughs> what do you have to lose, Roderick? Awesome. Nothing. Griff Nothing at all. Except for my brother, but house. still. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. Why he'll still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound I really hard, hope we do go to, like, we do fight him, though. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. She's I'm sorry happy. I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Is that a you from Forget all something? that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Ah! Uh. <laughs> she won't forget that. Mm mm mm. Alright guys, so that's all for this episode. I know it's short, but we're going to find out what happens next, next episode. Um, see you all guys then. If you like this episode, make sure you click that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. Because I make new videos every week. So from now on, all of these Game of Thrones episodes will be on Thursday. I might do a little extra one this week just because this one was shorter. We'll see how it goes. I am extremely busy with other things right now though. Um, so... As always, remember to stay super. See you next time. Bye. Loot Crate. Finally this month you got it right. <gasps> All month you've been saying Loot Crate. I've been missing it. Yeah.